Asante. Asante sana. Asante. Naomba utulivu kwa heshima ya mzee Melala mzee Eliud Marende miaka tisaini na mitano ni ushindi mkubwa ni ushindi si ushindi kama ni ushindi tumshangilie kwa makofi kabisa because he has lived a full life uh, and i think is Paul who would have said i fought the good fight i finished the race and kept the faith na akatupa kijana speaker marende kwa hivyo tumekuja kumwenzi huyu mzee na kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa maisha yake. Spika Marende amepata sifa na yeye mwenyewe kwa maombolezi yake. Ametaja vile kama sio baba huyo na ukiangalia uh, program hiyo. Uangalie picha nzuri. Utaona <laughs> mzee Marende alijizaa kwa huyu speaker yaani na kuja na mama yake serikali <laughs> eh ni ukoo hiyo kabisa and that's why he feels strongly about this matter my brother we have come we have come however small in our little way for you to know you are friends my own wife kutambua sana ilia yote kwa hivyo We are one big family of Kenya. Na huku Luanda Vihiga County Tuapongezeni sana Bishop Abame kwa kutuweka akili zetu pamoja na vile Biblia inavyosema Kenya hizo nyele nyeupe ni akili nyingi sana na experience. Wanakwaya asanteni kwa wadilifu kwa kisha kwamba mzee ambaye amepumzika anapata heshima yake. Kwa hivyo tuomba radhi sana. Tuomba radhi kwa makosa yote yale ambayo pengine tumeyafanya kwa mazungumzo na hata kwa mafikira. Lakini hivi hii ndio hali ya nchi yetu wakati huu. Hii nchi ambayo inataharuki. Lakini tujipe moyo tupige hata moyo zetu tupige tujipige konda they say kwa sababu duniani kote kuna mabadiliko hewa ya mabadiliko inabishabisha hata hapa kwetu una kijana mmoja ametoka mali na ndio sio tabia wa watoto wadogo kuwazika wazazi openly nataka kama wa jinsia kuji hapa tumeona anasinzia wao watoto JC on behalf of the young people kuja tu hapa wale watoto ambao wametajwa hapa ambao waliuawa kwa sababu ya kufanya haki yao kia maandamano kufanya maandamano ni haki kikatiba ambayo zote tunashifu katiba ya 2010 huyu kijana ametoka wala wewe kwa kiambuzi ndio amefika hapa hebu inua tu mkono ama uje uonekane eh amekana tu kama uko kijana mdogo hey, mama jump you can jump sio bwana yesu asifiwe uko salama comrades power comrades power mchana ria mchana power sitaongea mengi familia speaker very esteemed good person we met eh uh, uh, watu hapa vihiga bali sana nimetembea mbali lakini acha niseme hivyo wachache mkamara is only one minute ata seconds thank you usione simba amelala thank you thank you thank you kijana agency wana mambo yao 
na hapa tuki tukipumzisha mzee Elio na yeye tayari ayuko hapa kile ambacho tukaacha hapa ni mwili mzee ameenda kwa hivyo sisi tujijali sisi wenyewe and i want that uh, just give me one minute nikamilishe naomba tu tulipu kidogo kwa kona ile ile kona ni ya zakayo <laughs> Hivi tunapozungumza vijana zaidi ya sabini na wawili wamelala walipigwa risasi na polisi wakafa. Risasi ni ya serikali. Ambao wanapiatua risasi hawa ni wale ambao wameajiriwa na mali ya Kenya. In fact, ambao wanatoza ushuru ndio wananunua hizo bunduki na hizo risasi na kualipa mshahara askari wetu lakini tangu vijana waangushwe Kenya nzima na wale wengine wakashikwa kinyume na sheria wanawekwa kwa busi ya magari hapa tunazozungumza wengine bado hawajajulikana mahali walipo nimesoma taarifa ya inspector general wa police akisema pengine wengine wao wanahofia kushikwa tangu vijana wafe tangu Ruto abandilishe sheria ama withdraw na hata kuvunjilia mbali serikali yake baraza la waziri ni siku nyingi sana kama mtu alikuwa anajificha jamani mnataka tuamini bwana Kanja kwamba ati watu bado wanajificha na wanajua haki yao ya kikatiba ni vizuri tuambiwe ukweli kama watoto pia waliuawa kwa mikono ya polisi tunataka na chio Kenya dunia nzima hata waziri wa mambo ya nje wa nchi ya Marekani ambako juzi wamefanya maajabu yao wakamchagua president Trump ni ile na, nasema hewa inabadilika kila mahali Blinken amempigia Ruto simu akamwambia mambo ya kuchukua watu kushika watu kivalela ingawaje chini ya serikali ya Biden ambayo iko sasa hivi itakuwa mamlaka hadi tarehe 20 Januari Biden atatoka kwa mamlaka Trump atarudi kwa mamlaka wanamwambia hii tabia kushika wa Kenya ovyo ovyo na kuwaweka korokoroni na wengine kuuawa kinyume ya sheria lazima ikome hao ni watu wa nje lakini sisi wenyewe wa Kenya tusemaje wagaba nasema tutaki vijana waowawe tena wakiuawa Ruto and his government will be held responsible wagaba anakubaliana na maoni hayo wagaba nasema tunataka tusikie polisi angalau wawili watatu wamekamatwa wamepelekwa mbele ya mahakama kujibu utumiaji mbaya wa bunduki na risasi za Kenya kwa hivyo mambo kabla ya tayafanyike we cannot take it for granted. Mimi nasema kwamba ndugu yangu aparenya eh na muita Omwami. Omwami waliingia kwa serikali ya broad based. Eh wakati aliitwa tulikuwa na yeye. <laughs> kwa sababu yangu akamwambia Omwami angalia simu. Eh Omwami sitaongea nini kuambisha lakini ulituache kisha ngoja niende ninarudi Tangu Paranya atoke nimempata hapa leo <laughs> Eh Lakini rafiki yangu sana Paranya Na mheshimu sana Paranya Lakini usiwaje nikamwambia ndugu yangu uliondoka bila taarifa <laughs> Ukaenda kungarudi ya sasa nimeenda Lakini namuelewa Naelewa hata shida ya baba mwenyewe aliyokuwa na naelewa. Kwa hivyo ukiona kule ni kubaya oparanya uone vile watu wa Vihiga Kakamega Engo yote wanaona hawataki ufisadi Kenya hii. Wanataka uongozi bora. Hawataki serikali ya kujipiga kifua. Ukiona ni kubaya. 
usikubali usingojie kiumane tuwatumbane tuwapeleke nyumbani sema unayo lakini kwa sasa afanye hiyo kazi bora hatuna ubaya lakini sisi tumezoea kukaa ngumu kwa sababu ya wananchi hawa imesemekana mimi na wakati wa kibaki tuo tu akaanza na kijana wa malo ahamwe awamu ya kwanza wa kibaki na hapo katikati mzee mudi ya weli ambaye is growing is aging gracefully anatoka pia western province mzee tunamheshimu sana na mimi pia nikawa awamu ya kumi the tenth vice president kama my brother speaker marende i'm told you are the 10th edition of the speakership there's something unique about the 10th First of all you don't get old <laughs> and you don't get tired. Bado kuna energy kubwa sana ya ndugu yangu huyu Ken Marende tutafanya vile tunasaidiana tumesaidiana hapa wali sometimes Ken and I'm happy that none of us became speaker and in some one men yaribia okay I have to say today eh ilikuwa ile tu tuone how do we manage this loss we the who are chebukati how do we manage it I'm quite sure If I continue to the way to be the piano makaratasi kwa speaker senate mingeshindo wewe unaona vile ilienda but god is god atuwezi kufa moyo kwa hivyo tutajikakamua tutafanya pote kwa tumheshimu huyu mzee tuta we commit ourselves to friendship sasa imesemekana wazi hapa kuna shida kwa idara ya afya inaitwa shaf shim atujui nini yani wizi tu kijana wangu ameaga kushero anakotoka rafiki yangu barak muluka hapa kushero anaitwa mali badala ya patiwe matibabu yanayofaa chini ya NHIF akafa mimi mali wanakufa na hatuwezi kusikia kwa hivyo hatuta hatuta kubali sisi ndio sana sisi wapenzani wakati mmoja kumbukeni tulikuwa one Kenya lands ilikuwa ni mimi Kalonzo Musyoka na Waipa ilikuwa ni ndugu yangu <laughs> Moses Masika wetangula rafiki yangu kabisa wa Ford Kenya alafu alikuwa Mudavadi Musalia Mudavadi tulikuwa mwita ma DVD wa NC wao wakasalimu amri wakaenda kwa Ruto nikabaki peke yangu. Hata alikuwa anabaki na mimi na Oparanya naenda sasa. Unaona hey, Oparanya. Lakini Oparanya nitamtafuta usiku. Najua kwake nyumbani. Oparanya sitamwachilia. But I'm very happy for your senator. Senator kijana Ososi. Na kutolea heko. Na kutolea heko Ososi. Ya deputy leader tumewahi kuzungumza na wasosi usikubali inji iende mbaya ukiwa sana now we as we speak here tuko na azimio la umoja wa Kenya party leader wetu ni president na mstaafu huyu Kenyatta party leader huyo I mean party chairman ni huyu Kenyatta party leader ni Raila Amolo Odinga hivi tunapozungumza mimi hata sina cheo kwa azimio la umoja lakini nimeshikilia wenzangu angalau tudhibiti inchi inchi siende mbaya eh kwa hivyo mimi sitaenda njia ya rafiki zangu hao hata kama tutabaki wachache namna gani hao ndio tutakomboa Kenya hii nao rafiki yangu mmoja ameshambuliwa president wa Botswana ameanzisha coalition inaitwa umbrella kwa hiyo umbrella ndio ndio simbo ya waipa. <laughs> Anachaguliwa. Trump amechaguliwa kwa sababu kusema ataongeza ushuru. Botswana high cost of living akachaguliwa kwa kule nyingi. Hata yule alikuwa anataka awamu ya pili kama Ruto alipata viti vitano peke yake. This was last week. Kwa hivyo hiyo hewa ya change. Watu wetu wa western kenya kenya hii ingo watu wa malembe na wasii tushikamane na tusie tunasema tu eh juu ya kikundi hiki ama kikundi kile 
Let us now, the church has also learned this lesson that we, the remnant of the church, can stand for what is truthful and what is just for the sake of this nation. Kwa kwa naisi na masi kila mojawe eko angalieni ilimu imeharibika. Mimi nikuwa waziri wa ilimu, this is a true story. I was presiding about graduation ya Moy University. And we have now to allow Moy University ikubali Maseno University ianzi. And I gave the example, if you don't allow Maseno to now become waende wawe, there's such a thing katika meenende yetu kama wa Afrika. There's such a thing as if you don't get to Mishana Mpatie, and I look, and I end up a bila kulipua garama. And that's how Maseno became a chartered public university. University of Moy is on his knees. And I want to thank Mishmua Kawaso, mjumbe wenu hapa. Sio mambo ya juzi ama ili ya kusema laza kawa shuke Even as recently as yesterday Mwishmua maungu wa likuwa na kwa nakamati wa kusema Moe University has to be saved Na hii ni problem ya kabila Yuli angekua vice chancellor wa Moe University Anaitua professor Hiro Akaweko mwingine pala kiu kabila Hamearibu, hamearibu university Moe University And that's one of our best universities who complete with private investment kama hile River Tex na wengine. Lakini wanashinda kuthibiti ata ilimu yetu. Kwa hivyo wa jamaa, tuombe mungu wa tuweke hai. Tumuenzi mzea kumziki ya meenda wakabla yetu. Walio utalia tushikamane tuwekwe Kenya yetu. Kwa hivyo, mimi naona tuni kome hako. Nisema jumatatu. Mimi na Eugene tunaenda kwa mahakama kupinga andani. Andani tunampinga if you may not know this kama wakili have the right to make appearance and this time I chose a senior counsel to make to lead the team ya kukataa na uwanja wetu wa ndege usiende na watu wanaitwa andani. Because you need respect ya Kenya. Wafanyikazi wote wa Kenya mafanya Kenya yako authority na kuingineko wako katika hatari ya kutojua kafanya nini so mimi naomba tuni komeshe hako na ni watakieni heri watu wa Vihiga County hata gavano wenu wa Tichilo used to be my officer when I was a minister for environment wa Tichilo amesoma sana mambo ya remote sensi na mambo mangi hai so we will work together kila mahali mimi ni kwa nyumbani Goja tindu hende tumutume pole kwa hiyo familia nyingine na mutugurusu kwa heshima kwa amini kwa rosafi tuende na mkamilishe wala kwa wajwa ongea na mungu wa linde mungu wa pamoja nani wana yesu asforudi wakati mungine na mkina umana mungu anasema why don't you come kuna muimbaji mwenye alimba yesu kuja usitumane kuja mwenyeo mambo ni magumu maisha ni magumu but he is still gone Valeu, só se fica.